What's up guys, Zaf here and I'm back and uh, well, I don't want to jinx it, the last time I said that I'm back you know, real life just decided to be a bitch and just like endless issues just started coming uh, when I came back from Japan, as you all know, my grand aunt passed and um, well, this past week or so you know, it's just been family issues uh, things get a little messy, we you know, when there's inheritance at stake and um, you know, f family feuds and stuff, and lawyers and... Well, let's not talk about the depressing stuff, right? I, I haven't played a game... I haven't touched any game in like the past week or so. Or I've just been hella busy, you know, really, really busy. So today, when, when I just got back to my house, I'm like... I want to play something mindless. And um, this game was introduced to me by uh, one of my subscribers. Montana, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he was the one that, that mentioned it. I played it briefly. Uh, I played it on the Asia server for a bit. But today I decided to try it on the global server. Because apparently this is still new. It's like a month plus or something like that. And uh, I've only been playing for like 12 hours or so and I'm already at level 20. Uh, this game, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, it shares a lot of stuff with Summoner's War. Uh, it's a game by Comptoist, by the way. So, um, let's see, let's see. I wanted something mindless, but uh, it became fun. So yeah, uh, instead of elements, they kind of have... Let's have a look and see how, how this game is played, right? Instead of elements, they have um, directions, like, like a chessboard, you know? Like, uh, you have Rook Directions, Bishop Direction, King Direction, Knight Direction, and Queen Direction. Uh, let's see, where, where can we find it? Ah, uh, here. Here's the Rook one. Then you have uh, Bishop, you have King, you have Knight, and you have Queen. Uh, it's, it's a gacha game, um, turn-based RPG. But if you can look at the stats, there's no speed. So anybody who hates like farming for speed stats and stuff, I think I think this game is like pretty perfect. Like like you don't have to take speed into consideration. However, obviously all stats and everything like you need to step them up well to do really well, right? And um, uh, it, it's like a chessboard. Um, let's let's see whether we can go into any battle, and I'll I'll show you guys how 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 it kind of looks like. What's this game about? Um, they they had this. Uh, short story the storyline behind it was uh, there was this girl that came from the future trying to save the past so they went back 10 years in the past and you you can summon all these guardians uh, let's let's have a look and see how many guardians they have a uh, book I think that's where it is right so there's a total of 1110 uh, monster guardians in the game right um, obviously you divide that by five because there's like five different directions, you know, five different elements, directions, however you want to call it. So they've got net fives, they have like 17 of them here. They have four, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 36, 37 net fours, uh, net threes, net two, so on and so forth. All right. Um, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, let's Let's see what... We can do all right. What what can you do with your guardians? Okay, first, uh, well, you can upgrade them. Oh, well, this is like enhancing them, right? Uh, so you need to make them like plus five, which is the max power up. They call it power up in this game. So basically, you do that by by feeding, right? Uh, let's say you take a uh, this guardian right here, Adele. Then you click here or you tap here. Then you feed it a monster, and then you know. It goes up, the percentage goes up, and then you can power them up until like plus five. And after you reach the max level and the max power up, then you can then evolve them to the next star. So they start from like one star, two star, three star, so on and so forth, right? So um, the first one I summon, like, uh, got the when you start the game, after you clear like the first chapter one, nine, something like that, you get like a, a net four scroll. So Kali was the first net 4 that I pulled <clears throat> and a few hours ago I pulled my first net 5 uh, they, they, they give, They're very generous in this game You can see here, you can go to summons, right? 
Uh, they give you like free. Um, this is like unknown schools where you can summon like one, two, three star guardians, books of normal dimensions are called. And every day they give you one three to five star guardian book of mystical dimension, right? So every day they give you one free, which is pretty cool. So my free one's coming up in like 32 minutes, right? And uh, I mean, it's a highly pay to win game, you know, they've got ads all over, you know, they've got all these offers going on and stuff, which uh, I, I don't plan to spend any single cent in this game, you know, I just wanted to play something mindless. But then it, it got really fun because um, it's like a chess board and you, you have your characters like uh, basically you start off with this guy Lucian uh, you also start off with Finn so this is like King Lucian this is a Knight Finn and this is a Rook Del so it's like you start with these three characters and after you pass chapter 3 you'll get Seamus who's a Queen Queen Seamus like uh, they, they all have different directions and once you, you collect enough directions like uh, they, they get additional stats also like once you summon more of them um, the collection effect. So basically, once you summon all the elements, you've got like five directions collection effect. You know, increase attack power by twenty percent, or you can even change that. You know, whether you want attack or defense or pincer attack or HP. Uh, pincer attack is is something unique in this game. It's basically like uh, you're ganging up with another ally to hit. So basically, when when you're hitting a monster, right? I think it's best to show you guys. So. Uh, how am I going to show you guys? Wait, hold up. Let's talk about how we can upgrade the Guardians, right? The first way is to, obviously, the traditional way. You go and farm, you bring them, you level them up, right? And then um, you, you power it up, bring it up to the max level. So it's like um, three stars, max 25, four stars, max level 30, five stars, max level 35, six stars, max level 40. You know, same like Summoner's War, right? So um, we're close to max level here. So there's two ways. One, you bring them traditionally farming. Another way is you hit on the XP and then you feed them these potions. Right, so I'm going to feed her all these potions. Like bring her up to max level. Cool. So I have to use eight high potions, seven mid potions and six low potions to bring her to no, less than that. Less than that. Um, just one of these. Oh, two of it. Cool. So, yeah, use coins. You know, you level them up. Or gold, not coins. But, yeah. So, max level 35, right? Then, after that, you upgrade them. You know, you max... You know, power them up to max level. Uh... Max enhance, max power up, max enhance. Do this, and then you gotta farm these evolution stones and these queen stones, which uh, you have in different dungeons here. So you can go to battle. Then uh, you've got your adventure, eight different stages uh, with normal, hard and hell mode, <coughs> right? So there, there's there's like eight of it so far. There's eight of it. I have no idea yet how many they have. Then you've got unknown land, where you get your Awakening and also your evolution materials. That's where you get your evolution stones from, from the evolution stone dungeon. And then, depending on which element of the guardian that you have, you farm the specific dungeon, right? Uh, what else do you get? Uh, then you've got a uh, mistress sanctuary. All right, this is where your equipment comes from equipment, runes, souls, mods. Basically, it's runes, right? But it, they call it equipment in this game. So you've got three different dungeons. You've got the Shrine of Light. You've got ten floors each. Um, you've got Ruins of Chaos. I've got Sanctum of Darkness. So it's similar to like um, Giants, Dragons, and Necro, something like that, right? Uh, from here, they've got a lot of similar stuff to Summoner's War. So from Shrine of Light, you can get these um, Essence of Light. You can get also um, Strike Equipment, which is like Attack plus ten percent. You know when you when you when you gather the set, you've got um, deep guard equipment which is defense, which is same like some small guard is defense, right? Uh, then you've got your pincer equipment, which uh, it's a it's the separate thing. You know this this is the thing about the game, right? 
they have this pincer attack where your multiple guardians like like ganging up and hitting another 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 monster or another guardian then you've got your accuracy uh, you've got blade which is crit rate energy which is HP and your which is resistance a uh, revenge which counter attacks and you've got violent which is your crit damage set I don't know why they call it violent here but yeah uh, you've got vampire which is life drain so it's pretty cool basically like you, you get a vampiric effect once you add this set to your guardian right uh, then you got pulverize which is like destroy like it, it, it reduces the enemy's max HP by 3% for each set of two and then you've got your stun equipment which is despair right stun style you have 20% chance right so that, that's all the different type of equipment they have and they've also got this forgotten tower which is similar to TOA Trial Ascension but uh, it's only 50 floors right and they reset like uh, I have no idea how long they reset so it's season over in one day 41 hours so I, I have no idea how, how long this timer lasts right? maybe it's a week maybe it's two weeks I don't know you, you get like um, different rewards but from here like each floor grants you this this thing this ancient rune piece right and, and some coins and some crystals and every different floor like give grants you like different different rewards right and um, from these pieces you get you can go to the forgotten shop where I guess it's weekly reset because it says one time per week one time per week three times per week so I have 75 here so I'm gonna buy a few so that we can summon after this uh, three times a week I have 75 I'll buy two of these book of mystical dimensions which can summon like a three to five star great guardian Okay, let's buy two of those. Cool. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, they have promotion battles, which is basically your arena. I've only been playing for a day, mind you, and uh, I'm at rank 940. I have no idea how. Season ends in one day, 12 hours, 51 minutes. So I guess that's uh, this is this game is in PDT for global server. <clears throat> and the interesting part about this is uh, you've got this thing called nexus right which is like your 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 arena your glory towers right so they they call this a glory shop too you know like like you get glory shop you see glory shop and uh you get your glory points from doing matches and stuff and from there you can buy your skill book you can buy random legendary equipment random upgrade box and you can buy this flora flora is like a rainbow mon you know you can use this to like power up your your guardians so instead of trying to summon you can just use them right so yeah uh let's have a look and see you can set your defense so basically uh, this is kind of like how the arena looks like one two three four five five by one two three four five six seven so it's five by seven board all right and each character has like wait I can't even show you guys here uh, let's have a look see whether there's anybody that I can hit I'm still level 20 you know, and I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm matched with like people who are super high up than me but but yeah let, let, let's just go into a battle and I'll show you guys how there you can see this is like uh, this is my net 5 um, what's in what's his name Stein so basically he's a king right and he moves like like the chess piece right um god damn it <clears throat> well but basically the directions are like uh you got three three ahead yeah so three ahead three to the right three to the left three bottom so it's like it it's more than what a king can do a king can usually in, in chess can only move like one one spot but this can can move like um three above three bot below three to the right three to the left and uh, an extra one piece like the normal king so that that's a more enhanced thing what's well, a queen similar but diagonally it can also move diagonally and the rook rook will go like straight left right that's it all right so the thing is 
uh, there's there's a lot of things to to consider playing this game. It's like there's a lot of strategy involved in it. Where, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm still early game, right? So I I don't know much about the strategy. I'm just still play, using like the units that I got from from the start, which people have been saying and they are pretty good. Which is like this this, this Rook Adele here and this this Night Fin, right? Um, what else? So basically, I'm just like my team is just Finn's like a buffer. He buffs attack and buffs defense, and um, Adele like where's his skill? Yeah, there it is. So she recovers HP of all allies with 20% and cleanses. And after that, she also recovers HP of an ally target by 25%. So another extra heal. And she also like breaks defense, you know. Attacks the enemy in range and decreases defense for two turns with 50% chance. So they will attack anyone within their range as long as they're not blocked. Well, some of it, if it's blocked, then they can't move ahead from it. Some you can. And you've got leader skills. Uh, like like the Stein that I have increases the pincer attack of the ally by 30% Okay, maybe this is too much of an information dump, but yeah, there, there's two ways one one you beat the people in PvP like you beat the team or two you hit the Nexus so basically when you go into battle uh, where, 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 This this PvP purely PvP we're talking about PvP, right? When you go into battle. Yeah, you, you can move your Nexus too. I think no, you can't move your nexus. But basically, yeah, you can either kill them or you can kill their nexus. I'm not gonna even try because this guy's like way higher level than me. I don't think I have anybody that I can beat right now. But yeah, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. So I'll show you guys everything, right? So there's a adventure, which is the story mode, unknown land, which you can find your evolution and uh, awakening mats. Um, Mysterious Sanctuary where you can get your equipment which is your runes uh, Promotion Battle which is your arena This other statue right here I have no idea where it is because it's not out for me yet Forgotten Tower which is similar to TOE Then you've got Hall of Judgment which you can enter to acquire your awakening mats for You, you can only awaken once you 6 star Which is really weird right Like usually in different games you can uh, awaken at any time but yeah, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to upgrade my Carly right here, uh, my Queen Carly. So she's been carrying me throughout the game, because she's like a, she's a pretty cool DPS. Let's look at her skills. Um, she's a Queen, so she moves like that. Uh, so she moves to the top, to the bottom, to the left, to the right, then after that diagonally. Alright? So, uh, first skill, attacks the enemy in range and increases your attack power by, for two turns. Uh, then her second skill attacks the enemy in range three consecutive times and attacks a different target in range again if the enemy is defeated. So basically, she's similar to like a rogue. If everything's in position, she can basically just wipe the whole map like that. Right? And she's just a four star. Then her third skill is attacks all enemies in range five consecutive times and explodes bombs in, all, in possession. So if I had a bomber with her, no, she, she can detonate the bombs. It's pretty cool. It has a leader skill, increases attack power of the ally by 30% in promotion, battle, and arena. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade her, we're gonna evolve her. So from five stars, so she's max level 35. I've already powered her up to the max. Um, I've got her evolution stones and also her queen stones. So we're gonna evolve her. What's gonna happen? We're gonna power up this skill. Hmm. Benefits of 6 star evolution increases damage by 5%. Cool. I'm gonna evolve her. Oh, it costs 40k gold. Alright. Nice. Oh, and you get this, this um, Flores. Every time you, you evolve up level, then you get like a, This is a 5 star, I think. Yeah, this is the 5 star Flora. Right. Uh, now you can awaken. Right. Uh, okay. So basically, in order to awaken her, I need to farm these dimensional crystals, which uh, we will go and farm right now. They, they have this a lot of things for, for new players. So basically, when, once you get to Hall of Judgment, you know, once you clear it, um, I, I have no idea what I'm to expect right here because I've never tried it before. Uh, Wait, wait, before we hit there, 
think we should power up a bit. Because she's like level 1 right now. Yeah, let's bring up to level 17. Okay. So yeah, that's the stats. Uh, I've, I've got like rubbish equipment. Like this is the four stars that we get from the quests and stuff. Um, I've got like 58 crit rate and 100% crit damage. Uh, it's got a lot of HP. Why? Oh, I think because one of this, I've got two HP on there. So this this should be like attack instead of uh, HP. But yeah, I, I mean that's what we got right now, right? Ah, see, another offer. So yeah, let's try this Hall of Judgment because uh, there's these challenges. Like the, the first time to in order to awaken stuff and to evolve stuff is, is pretty simple because every time you clear a, a, a dungeon, they will give you like X amount of stuff. So it's like they're, they're like spoon feeding you. So yeah, uh, you can just like use auto placement to like place them. Um, I, yeah, I'm just gonna auto it. I have no idea how, how the dungeon works yet. It's my first time playing it. But I'm pretty sure we can clear the first run, hopefully. Okay, let's have a look and see how, how things go. Oh wow, once she's lower down the level, like, her attack power really goes down. Yeah, that's a healer and cleanser. Now this guy will buff. Ah, that's a pincer attack. So basically when one person attacks and after that, uh, if the other allies are en route, right, they will also join in the attack with their first skill. Which is pretty cool because there, there, there's a lot of strategy to it because there's some people with first skills that, that give a lot of uh, stuff, you know, like, like either they give defense break or they stun, like uh, my, stun, my stun there, he stuns. Oh crap, I'm actually losing this. Uh, come on, man. It's clear this, I need to awaken this girl. <laughs> this one feeds you. I should have done this prior, but no, then, uh, yeah, I think we got this, maybe. Oh, Hades is like a uh, net 5, that's pretty cool. Crap. Oh, yeah, why not? Five crystals. Why not? Five moonstones, sorry. I mean, I just want to get this over and done with. Cool. I mean, don't, don't do that. Don't don't use that five thing. Like, like I'm just doing it just for the sake of the video because like, I want it again. But well, your first clear reward, you get back the five moonstones, so it doesn't matter. So basically, you'll, you'll get your awakening mats from here, you know, you get dimensional crystals, and uh, you'll get this unknown stones, which you can craft stuff, which uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, but before that, oh, we're gonna go to menu, challenge. There, there, you can see, conquer the Hall of Judgment, like, first floor, and you get 80 of this, which basically, like, the, your first few, you, you they, they just, like, Spoon feeding you to make stuff like really, really easy for you, like early on. Then after that, you know, comes the long grind and stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah, Carly upgrade awakening. So we have enough. 83 out of 70 dimensional crystals, and we've got 97 queen stones. So yeah, her stats will greatly increase. Hopefully, 752288. Just gonna screenshot this. And have a look, see how much I get from awakening. Cool. I know when it awakens, you know, like everything changes. Oh, this this not bad increase in attack. Uh, 
I got the screenshot, let me compare it. So it's like a 210 increase in attack. It's like an 80 increase in defense. 110 increase in pincer attack. 1000 increase in HP. No difference in crit rate, crit damage resistance, no accuracy. But yeah, that's pretty much um, how you upgrade, evolve and awaken. Then there's also transcend, which is some... Uh, once you hit level 40, then you can transcend. How you can transcend is just pretty weird. Like when, when an awakened guardian reaches level 40 and power up plus 5, you can transcend the guardian. You need one of the same 6 star guardian to transcend the guardian. A slot where you can engrave the relic will be opened and max level will be increased by 5 bunch transcendents. You can transcend up to 2 times to increase the max level up to level 50. Which is bullshit. Like basically you need like 2 6 stars like oh you know 2 6 stars of the same unit you know to transcend making it level 50. But obviously the stat increase will be there. Well for free to play players I think like, like myself I think I, I'm not going to bother with transcending because this is like pretty tough. How about it for whales? You guys can go ahead, go crazy, do it. Um, what else is there? Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, you've got your craft house where you can disassemble the equipment that you've got. So let's say I've got this pincer armor that I've got, right? I can disassemble it uh, for 150 gold, well, depending on the value of it. Then you get this pincer shards, right? Once you get the shards, you can craft your own equipment once you have enough shards get like 50 shards of it and you get some essence of light which you farm from the from the equipment farming dungeon right uh, and when you craft you can get equipment that is between four to six stars uh, it could be legendary uh, it could be it, it could be something nice right you can also craft relics relics uh, are available once you transcend which is something that i'm not going to bother with uh, you can craft stones, uh, you get these unknown stones from, from different dungeons and that will be for the for the awakening or evolutions of the units that you want. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's have a look-see. Uh, I've got a magic shop right here. And the same like Summoner's War, you have to unlock slots using um, crystals, sorry, moonstones or, or gold. Uh, but we're gonna do some summons right now. I have a thousand fifty seven moonstones So I'm gonna go to the shop. We're gonna buy um, 11 pack book of summoning pack 2 And the rates are not bad, you know, it's like 40 moonstones for 90 shoes and and the dungeons only cost like five shoes you know, Like like all the all the all the big dungeons so it's not that bad. It's it's similar to Summoner's War, but maybe more manageable, I guess. And the rates are higher too, supposedly. Let's let's summon something. Cool. So you get eleven books. You get hundred k gold. Uh, XP potion high X three. All right. So you collect that your inbox. Similar to Summoner's War. So we get some skill ups. I, I don't care whether I get like net fives or not. I'm like skill ups are more important. All right, uh, so we've got 14 total. All right. Oh, here goes. Skip. Oh, uh, so yeah. Once you get like something good, like it becomes gold in color. It's like that's their version of lightning. Like right, that. This crystal tends to go. But yeah, knowing my luck, it's pretty shit. Oh yeah, I got an Adele skill up. I have to read the skills of all the other characters because... I, oh yeah, that, that's it. That's, uh, we get either net 4 or net 5, something like that from here. Oh, King Saren. Cool. They even have suggested combinations. Which I'm pretty sure are not accurate, but yeah. So what should do? Attack all enemies in range three consecutive times and blocks beneficial effects for two turns. It's not bad. Attacks the enemy in range two consecutive times to inflict damage that's proportionate to its max HP. It's alright. Uh, attacks enemy in range to inflict continuous damage for two turns. 
Block beneficial effects. Inflict damage, max HP. Inflict continuous damage, dots. Increase accuracy of ally by 35% in... Uh, I guess she seems alright. Another AoE. Guardian. And that's it for my luck. Nothing like just that one. Alright, scale up for my Probella. Cool. So basically that's that's how you summon, how you evolve, awaken. What else? Uh got some more stuff that we can collect here. Or just some coins. They, they give out a lot of stuff, right? Uh, even now, like after uh, once you hit level twenty, like prior to this, like they had this beginner thing where where the first few adventure modes, um, if you clear them, you get like various rewards. You know, you get like like books to summon, you get um, floras, which is like the rainbow mons. <clears throat> now they're like if if you can make rank S for all your your normal maps, your heart maps, your hell maps, and uh, and once you get all of it. S rank, then you'll get a 4 star guaranteed book of dimension. And you get these moonstones, which is not bad. Um, they also have another one, which is promotion battles. Basically, arena. Cool, cool stuff. But yeah, so this thing is where you get your events. Notice you've got chat, you know, private chat, uh, kill chat, and. Um, Oh, they also have like private chat, normal chat, you know, public chat, deal chat, and private chat. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think I think that's about it. Like, uh... oh yeah, there's also crafting you can combine. You can combine for a Valk, right? Um, it requires like three three stars and two four stars um, of different directions. So it's like regardless of whatever direction, and then you will get uh, a Valk of each um, every time you combine basically you need to bring them up to max level 35 so five stars max level and I'm I'm guessing most likely plus five also power up most likely I have no idea maybe maybe it's just max level 35 or maybe it's max level 35 and then plus five either one of those because uh, it doesn't state here but yeah, every single direction, but three of it needs to be three stars and two of it need to be four stars. And you combine and you get a Valk. And, um, well, you get this Valk. I don't, I don't think you can summon Valks. Yeah, you can only cr uh, combine them. So basically, you can get any of the five elements. But once you've gotten that one element, like, the next time you do it, you're not going to get that element anymore. So yeah, you can like, do this five times. Um, so there's no waste in, like, making, like, Guardians to five stars. <clears throat> what else is there? That's about it. I mean, like, the rest of it is just, like, pure grinding and, um... Pure grinding and... Bringing stuff up. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm gonna rest for a bit. Like, it's been a long-ass month. Like, this, this month has been horrid. But yeah, that's that's the introduction to Chain Strike. I, I there's still a lot of stuff that I don't know about this game. I, I find it really fun right now because Well because I got a net five, obviously, right? Like let's have a look at my net five. Like like what does he do? Like Stein uh, skill info. First skill. Attacks the enemy in range two times to stun the target for one turn with thirty five percent chance. Right, but that's that's not what, what he's awesome about, you know, because he has this passive activates pincer attack regardless of the movement range, increases your pincer attack each turn when the turn begins. So basically, whenever any of my units hit a monster or a guardian, right, he will join in. So he will join in on the attack and he will do his first skill, which is Sword of Sin, which attacks twice. To stun the target, right? They have a chance to stun the target like every time like I attack, regardless like like any of my other units attack, he will join in and there's a chance to stun the target. So it's pretty cool. Um and his second skill attacks all enemies in the range. This is the range, like I hope you guys can see the mouse. I hope my OBS, like I put the mouse there, right? Yeah, yeah, it's there. 
So yeah, Empress Command, like, um, what it does is, within this range, right, uh, he will attack all the enemies that's within this range. And it increases pincer attack for two turns. And this is his passive. And uh, his leader skill increases the pincer attack of the ally by 30%. And his pincer attack is not bad. I think it's the high, one of the highest in the game. Not sure, but I was just like doing some reading earlier. So yeah, I think uh, I'll probably like ruin him. Uh, the equipment that I have, I'll probably like give him like a lot of pincer attack sets. You know, just to make full use of the whole pincer attack thing. And yeah, like there's so many combinations in the game, and that there's like three stars. There's like really useful three stars. Um, who's a useful three star? I think a Prabella is like one of the useful ones. Uh, where is my Prabella? So yeah, which direction is this? It's my Bishop Prabella, right? So what does she do? She um, attacks the enemy in range and recovers HP of all allies by 5% when you land a critical hit. And once you skill her up, uh, it becomes 10%. So it's like an Aman, right? So you gotta like rune crit on her. Because <clears throat> well, this is the first skill. So basically whenever she, she joins in Pincer, then she can heal. Which is pretty cool, right? That's why I think that like there's a lot of strategy involved in this game. Like uh, there's so many skills. Uh, she also debuffs on her second skill, decreases the attack power and defense of an enemy target for 110, 70% chance. 70% uh, goes to 90%, 80%, 90%, 90% chance to decrease the attack power and defense of an enemy target. Uh, then she also has um, AOE heal, recovers HP of all allies by 15% and decreases the skill cooldown time by 110. She's pretty cool. Um, fifteen percent, twenty percent, thirty percent total one skill up. Oh, I hope it's thirty percent. You know, if not, it's going to be one of those. It's similar to some of those more calculations, like fifteen plus five percent of the the fifteen stuff like that. That's like I, I have no idea, but from what I've read in on Reddit and uh, and stuff, it's it's like thirty percent. But yeah, that's it, guys, for chain strike. Like um. I know I, I didn't show you guys any fights, so it's, it's not going to be fun, but uh, try it out. Like, uh, no, no, this is not a sponsored video, okay? My, my channel is not that big for a sponsored video, no. No, no, this is just me, like, like, like saying that I think this game is pretty awesome. I just want to share it with people, and uh, yeah, I don't know, if you guys are playing, like, add me, right? Um, I haven't even like responded to anybody's like comments on YouTube for the past week or so nor nor have I been on Discord. I've just been disconnected because real life is really sucky. But yeah guys, uh, I think this is it uh, for today. I'm going to sort stuff out and once everything's sorted like uh, the streams, the videos, everything will be back to normal like once everything is sorted. I can't guarantee when that will be. But I think there's a high chance that tomorrow we will have uh, on Muji stream. Most likely, most likely, um, 24 hours, 30 minutes from now, we will have uh, on Muji like like dual stream. Like I'll, because I'll, uh, I'll just I just log on to Mega's account and and we'll do some some PVP and we'll check out what teams people are currently using in, in like the top 100 and stuff. Oh, and I got another free summon right now. Cool. Oh, skill up for Finn. Nice. Awesome. Good stuff. Could wait to end the video. Alright, that's it guys. This is Zaf signing out then. Till next time.